Hello and welcome to the highlights of match number 28. It's Quetta Gladiators versus Lahore Kalandas. Quetta looking for those two valuable points to confirm their place in the playoffs. Having said that, quick look at the standings. Quetta Gladiators just at the brink. At number four, if they win, they confirm their position for the playoffs. The toss was won by Shaheen Shah Afridi and Lahore Kalandas decided that they will bat first. Two changes for Lahore Kalandas, George Linde and Sahib Zada Farhan come back into the 11. One change for Quetta Gladiators, Mohamed Wasim Jr. makes his way back into the 11. Let's join the action as Sahib Zada Farhan and Tahir Beg come out to open. Anthony says, uh, let's go, gents. First one. Oh, hint, a hint of it. But a nice little thick outside edge, a square one. Four bits straight away, underway. Lahore. He's looking to bring that ball back in. Good seam. Not out of the middle of that, but again, just those three fielders on the offside. Just got to get it into the gap. Gets it in front of point. Another saw on the bat's gone as well. <laughs> oh, full comedy. He'll get four for it. And hey, how about giving my bat back? What's going on? We saw Pollard break his last night. Now we've seen a bat throw. As we call it, they're like almost like octopus grips, aren't they? They've got those little pimples on them. They shouldn't do this, should they? Exactly like that, and he nails it, gets it in the gap, through to the extra cover fence. It's brilliant batting. Again, it's assessing conditions, yes, giving himself some room, but he doesn't try and hit it too square. On this surface, that's where you've got to play at that. Yes, it's cross bat, but he still looks to go through cover, instead of trying to go too square through point. Oh. Lovely flow of the blade. It's gone all the way. Here's our first maximum of the night. Now he uh, again went with a bit of flight. And he knew it. As soon as he released it, and the way uh, they hit through the line, he uh, made it look so easy to hear, Bang. This time down the ground. Yes, gone. Oh! Jason Roy. This time around with the jump up and the perfection in the timing. The timing of the jump was perfect. There you go, just uh, sticking in the top fingers and uh, wicket for a bra, just giving him a little look. Off you go, mate. So Zada Farhan gone for 25, is 38 for one. Final ball, that has been skied up in the sky and Mohamed Wasim takes it comfortably. Second wicket of the over for Abrar and both openers now depart. The ball spinning a little bit off the surface, landed on the seam and uh, Wasim, what a safe pair of hands, right in the bucket. And the second wicket for Abrar in the over. Lahore uh, Kalandas losing it now. Beautiful. That is timing, man in form, and a classy cover drive. Tried about a little fuller. Uh, was looking to bring the ball back in. It was just there. Got right on top of the ball. Went in the air, but uh, was hit so hard. The fielder at deep point had no chance of cutting that. Short ball and dispatch. One through covers and one over mid-wicket. Well, having just pumped up Mohamed Wasim Jr., he's been pumped himself. Now, this is uh, indicative of the, the pitch. Not the quickest going round, and if you're too short, it just allows the time for the batters to do this to you. Reverse sweep and a misfield, and that'll go to the fence. So, Abdullah Shafiq's third boundary. Oh, 
Oh, it's come back in. Is there an edge? That's a terrific take. And yes, there is. That is a superb delivery and an even better catch. It's a terrific delivery. Just nip back off the seam. Big inside edge. And that is a fabulous catch. A great grab. See you. See you later for five. It's now a little bit more messy. It's 69 for three. Well, this time he manages to put bat on that boundary to the captain's name. Yeah, too short on this occasion. Opens up the offside to right out of the middle. Yeah, no spin. Looked like a top spinner. Just sat up nicely. Good placement. Oh, he's got it proper on that bat. Though it would be the toe end, but he's got enough on it. That's a tough shot. Good shot from Abdullah Shafiq. Tosses it up just outside that wide line. Amazing hands. Beautiful timing. Yeah, the sound on it tells you that will go as a maximum on any ground. Targeting Akilo Sen. This time, Shine was ready. It was a short, wide one to stay away from his arc, uh, but he manages to connect it right in the middle of the bat. This time on the offside, and goes for another maximum. 22 runs of the over. 50 partnership, 122 for three. This time, the other end was again short and wide to stay away from his arc, this time even further outside the off stump. And Shine Shah Afridi now twice in a row gets right the middle. He's not wasting any time to the small side. Yeah, it's just enough. And Maxi to kick things off in the 17. The deep mid wicket fielder was put there, but it is a shorter part of the fence around 62 meters he didn't get a hold of it completely but it was enough to get just over the fielder a good start pressure on abroad from ball one uh, 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 there's another one half century is second in the hbl pakistan super league for the captain his first this season with a nicely timed shot straight over mid-off. Yeah, he's connected a few in the last few balls he's played. And he's got something to say as well. Dancing shoes on! Up into the night sky from Maximum! His fifth! Half century in PSL, a second consecutive one. And Abdullah Shafiq, he's having a time out of it here on the weekend in the City of Lights. Yeah, back to back 50s, and, and he's looking really good. A very elegant player. And. Oh, his luck's run out, has it? So <laughs> Sail Khan is cracking up because he's held on to this. Sail Khan has done well. Good on you, Sail Khan. Oh, that's a cracker. Hitting the splice of the bat, I wanted to go onside. And uh, Sohail Khan, who's uh, oh, beautifully taken, one can say that now, but he was moving away from him. Big smile from uh, Mohammed Amir. And a wonderful inning comes to an end. Freely getting 55 is 160 for four now. That's nicely struck. And will be four. The final delivery does go to the boundary. And it allows the Columbus to get over the 165 mark. They end with 166 from four. So at the end of 20 overs, 166 for four. Lahore Kalandas with a 59 of 39, not out from Shafiq and Shaheen Shah Afridi putting in 55 of 34. That was the bulk of the scoring. Farhan and Beg also gave them a good start 
and they managed to put uh, 40 odd in the power play. Bowling was good from the spinners. Abrar got two for 31. Wasim Jr. got one wicket for 28. One for 30 for Amir. But it was Suhail Khan who went wicketless but bowled brilliantly for four overs, none for 25. So the target 167 to win this and confirm your place in the playoffs. New ball first up as always with the slip in. They require 167. And the eagle has the ball. Will this white ball swing? If there's any shape or any swing on offer, he can extract it, Shain Shah Afridi. Here we go, the chase is on. Nicely clipped into the leg side. What a glorious way to get off the mark for the team and yourself, Jason Roy. What a way to start as a batsman. Out of the middle, into the gap. He knew it straight away. Two steps down the pitch. He knew that was four straight off the bat. This time through the offside. Overcorrects in line and gives him a freebie through the offside. Back-to-back -back boundaries for Jason Roy. This one's too full and too wide. Again, angle across the right-hander. First ball swings back in. That one holds its line. Nice hands from Jason Roy. He's off to a great start. Up and over. Make that three in a row from Jason Roy. No matter how close to the fielder, eventual results read 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And that's why when Ariel is on the up, just over the top, but yeah, that's the risk that Shine Shah Freedy takes with the new ball, the first over. He clipped off the offside, on to the leg side. The timing, absolutely impeccable. So Shaquille ends the over with a boundary. Three down is 23 for no loss. And just with the pace on the ball. Here at National Bank Stadium, Karachi. And Jason Roy again. Again deals in a boundary. Just looking to get on that front foot. Line up that short boundary. Oh, what a shot. What a strike from Saud Shaquil. He's got the head coach clapping for him as well. There is one way to end the over. Five done is 39 for no loss. And it was the angle across the left-hander and he went back to his own conventional style of play. Could be a wicket here. Could be a wicket here. Big appeal from... Uh... The Lahore Kalandas bowler, wicketkeeper, everyone uh, gone up and uh, review is taken straight away. Yeah, freeze it there. There's a clear spike as the ball's next to the bat. Yeah, you could just tell with the, the certain reaction on Roy's face while this was being looked at. Inside edge and a good call from the keeper, convincing the captain that we have the man. That's a big wicket. Jason Roy out for 18. Quetta, 39 for one. Lovely timing. It wasn't a half volley. This will uh, make him feel really good. Don't be there. Yeah, too much width. Not a lot, but just enough to execute that sort of stroke, which uh, Russo uh, dines out every night of the week on. That is on the menu for Riley. Big appeal, big appeal and given. How big is that wicket? If that comes good, we're going upstairs. Alex, are you there? Pitching outside off, impacting line. 
and wickets hitting. To go with the red shirt. See you later, Riley. Captain's got to go. Out for 13, and it's clickety click 66 for two here. We'll try it. We've seen this before, haven't we? Tonight. What's going on? Yesterday the bat broke. Today we've seen people throw away their bats. Nobody wants to bat on this surface, do they? This time, Seu Chikil wanting to belt this all the way to Basel City. Only manages to lose his bat. Had to run as well quickly for the single because the uh, fielder was just say uh, there you see just hold up a little bit in trying to see where his bat ends up a little ramp shot nicely played saman khan in pursuit but to no way boundary finally last ball of the 12th over 88 for two yeah good from so chakil it was the length he picked it up early Got down on one knee and held shape quite nicely. Watch the ball onto the bat. First boundary since 31 deliveries. And gets to his second HBL PSL 50. It's quite a surprise that he debuted in HBL PSL this year. Top of the order. He's batted well. South Shikil 50 of 42. But a 96 for 2 after 13. Quick delivery and it's been hammered, it's been picked up. Pace Hughes has a fabulous shot, maximum for South Shakil. He has picked it off his legs and it is all pure timing again. South Shakil, 86 meter hit and he's been quite a handy knock here. just ruined the over someone it was going to be a gem of an over the last one disappears for the lot 130 for two one too many and little short and quite a the angry stroke he wasn't happy he missed out on uh, maybe two or three on occasions this was back of the hand and and waited Nafe, and then he looked to hit it yeah he's pumped up Oh, that looks a good shout. Looks a good even given. Rear says, yeah, there's the salute. Has it pitched in line as the only maybe? But I don't think so. I think it's a good eat. Been given out on field. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, definitely hitting the stumps, but uh, we have to see where the ball landed. You can see the leg stump there. Quite a gone for 26. It's 136 for three now. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, it's gone all the way. What a shame. There's his last one going for a six. 150's up. 15 off the penultimate over. It means they need 14 off the last at 153 for three here. Quite a gladiator's camp has been very, very quiet. This will cheer them up a bit. Too short, too short. That was the only story. Back of the hand is bowled beautifully, but just when he gets it a little shorter, it becomes an easy hit. Laurie Evans. No man's land or taken. Sensational grab in the deep. Celebration City here. It's the end of Laurie Evans. Big, big wicket. First delivery. Little outside the off stump, bigger side of the boundary, smart balling, a little slower, and good grab. A very, very good grab under pressure. Wicket on the first ball of the final over, and that two of uh, Laurie Evans. 153 for four. Yeah, yeah, delightful. Very, very cheeky, but very, very cool under pressure. Shaquille now goes into the 80s. Oh my God, that is a good shot.
look at the balance. Look how still his head is. Gets a low full toss, but that's brilliant cricket. Oh, a chip in the end. It's a goodie. Get down. Oh, you've got to dive. You've got to dive. You've got to cut that off. This is game on. Five from two. Back-to-back -back boundaries from Shaquille. Over Midoff's head as he's up inside the circle. Just a check drive and it skids off. Last one. Wasim Jr., the new man in. Pressure on both players. No, oh, you kidding? Recently, is out there celebrating like they've won the final. Good family atmosphere and coming together. But look at that pickup. That is a wonderful strike for a guy that's only just got out. It's only his second ball. And Celebration City. Get out there, Ben. 72 years young with the skip on. <laughs> Hashtag love this game to bits and pieces. Sensational for the Gladiators. Oh, yes. Qualification guaranteed now. Stand out there, the beacon of light there. 88 from 65. Shaquille, who was vice captain. Pretty good numbers, though, as a strike rate. And look at that. Four sixes to go with these five fours was the difference in the end quite comfortably. 41, so he went over 10s, two for. Interesting that Zaman only bowled two overs, but uh, just went for 10. And you look at that, two for 30. Janandart, he was very useful early on. Just a couple of sixes off his uh, last two overs. It was the undoing, and it's a tough gig falling on this pitch. So 169 for four, took them over the line. So a match 28. As uh, Shaheen also said, not enough. 166 for four would have loved to have but at least another 10. And the Gladiators in the end, well, they made hard work of it because of some fine bowling and some very good catching in the end as well, has to be said, on the Calunders. 169 for four. Off the last ball, they win by six wickets and uh, created some great entertainment for us all. So it means we have our qualifiers for the playoff. Multan, Islamabad, Peshawar, and now Quetta.